What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. And I have been doing a bit of mulling. So, in Europe, the situation is a bit dodgy, being, again, being at war with so many major nations at the same time. So I think my best option in the Mediterranean is to use this force in Tripoli to... Uh, Start to attack enemy positions near Cairo. Maybe even draw one of... Maybe this army, Constantino Bassano. Maybe also draw them into the mix. Or send them to attack Cagliari to secure it from the French. Build up my defensive positions near Madrid. And keep some defences in London. And also uh, rebuild my fleet. Because my main focus in the Americas is to take this force here at Cayenne, get them to re, uh, replenish their forces, sail on, take the Windward Islands, take Nassau, and then land somewhere in the continental United States. But that kind of highlights the fact that I'm depending quite a lot on trade, which means that my navy here then has an even bigger role to play than you would expect. So I need to start moving more assets over here to keep my port open if I'm going to be depending on them like that. But one more turn to get the naval hospital and that means we can start to earn, start to build first rates and second rate should be on that picture. Unless I've not got a uh, certain naval text but I'm sure I do. Um, but anyway, we can only just keep on keeping on. So I'm at war with the French but I do not want to take Paris. But I may... I should get a bit better at this. Doing stuff like this to just screw with them. I also would like to really build up my fleet here at Portsmouth. Just to kind of uh, keep the French fleet bottled up that little bit more. Um, but I can't really do anything now. So I've got to hit end turn. But I think in general we're doing the right things. I'd probably like to get some sloops recruited here so that these light infantry can actually do something a bit more offensive my research is going okay Sevilla is researching diamond uh triangle formation wedge formation but there's nothing really they can do and that's too useful see this is part of the reason why i definitely do expand my fleet um is because the prussians are now starting to have a presence in the theater and the russians well the russian uh position has broken so I've got to be careful because there is still a, a grand alliance in Europe that is the Ottomans. I mean, the United Provinces are definitely going to declare war on me. Um, there is still a grand alliance between the Prussians, the Swedish and the Ottomans. Yeah, there we go. So Russia has just uh, blockaded my port. Which means I'm probably not going to have very much income. So maybe I ought to do more uh, raiding of the ports around Athens. The new Spaniards are getting ready for another attack. Ooh. Oh, I should have done... I didn't mean to click counter off her. The Leeward Islands for rights of man. Just I can't entirely remember what that does. No. I mean, I'm sure it's good. Yeah, there we go. We get barely any cash when the Russians blockade us with their tiny, annoying little fleet. So let's take one of these sixth rates. Over to Athens. Who's in there? Heavy privateer. Okay. Okay, what if I gave you... The Leeward Islands for peace. So the reason why I've done that is the value of the Leeward Islands isn't much but the impact of now finally permanently fixing well semi-permanently fixing this Russian problem uh, that really helps a lot. So you guys keep replenishing so you want to keep converting 
Tripoli to our religion. I want to keep checking how far you guys are away from being able to release this army to do offensive duties. And I may... may even be worth doing this, because the Ottoman Empire, that trade route's worth 15 grand to them. And it's worth 9 grand to us. So then this unit of militia may go down to the port, just to make sure it stays occupied. Hop over to the Americas. So you're replenishing. Let's get another unit of infantry here for this garrison, because the new Spanish are on their way. It would really help if we could just chill out. I suppose it might be worth again trying... Try to see if we can chill out with the, the French. Prussians don't want to trade. We can't afford to trade with anyone else. Yeah, more United Provinces troops are on the way, so they are definitely going to launch an attack, but I can't do anything to stop them. I can't do anything except hold. So there you go, the Russians have built up their fleet and they're going to sail off and... I don't know, attack the, uh, the Prussians maybe? The Swedes have seen them off. But yeah, I think giving up the Leeward Islands to just stop the Russians from hampering my uh, my trade is a great deal. Because those islands are never normally worth a huge amount. So they've landed their army. One of their armies. Well, we can see them off. Not a problem. So we've got 22,000, we just researched Rights of Man, so it's kind of good we didn't actually go for it. I need a modern university, but of course I'm not going to get that unless I catch one. So instead, Ivora, you go on to... probably Power Loom. It's going to take you a long time. Well, no, National Debt is seven turns and it's still fairly quick. Okay, so yeah, for some reason you can't... Hmm, I can't actually recruit. Second row ships of the line, I can recruit Admiral's flagships, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick up some fourth rates from here. You're almost entirely replenished. Let's pick up some... some light galleys. So I need one... Two. to fill my ports so let's repair this weaver's cottage not upgrade the school yet repair this pleasure workshop repair the craft workshop upgrade the port here potentially upgrade hmm. so you get me an extra bunch of cash and more turn wealth. Okay, I think the smart money might be on. So that army's probably more than enough to hold them off. Got a barracks recruited up here, which is nice. Let's pick a general up to lead that army there. Let's get... Can anywhere here recruit... Sloops. So just the one, just the one sloop actually. Um, okay, let's pick up this plantation here to continue the export of goods to the new world. Probably, to be honest, march Mr. Bassano east. 
Even though now they... Oh, it's only minus two. So they don't hate me. They hate me even less a bit. When I get them in there, I could upgrade theatre, which I think I probably will. And let's upgrade this iron mine as well. I'd probably like to pick up some better artillery en route, but you might not even get that from... Anyway, because you don't have explosive... We do have explosive shells. No, oh, I've just never spent the money to upgrade to a great arsenal to get uh, howitzers. But I definitely want to move these guys eastwards. To at least start to put the squeeze on the Ottomans and try and make some gains there. Okay, but I think we're about to be attacked by the new Spaniards in Caracas. They want a military alliance? No. <laughs> They're all over the United Provinces, though, so if you could get them into a war, that would be... If you could drag United Provinces into that war, that'd be great. Because then it would mean they uh, aren't pointing as many men at me. There we go. We are being attacked. We've got some mortars to defend. We've probably got some... Do we get any garrison line? No, nope, just the cannons. And we've got some cavalry coming in on the flank. So let's prepare to defend Caracas. Um, against... Against the new spec. Because as usual, we... Don't have a lot of tax income now. Uh, from raiding. Oh, okay, we do have some breaches which is good these walls are fair in fairly good nick so let's dump my howitzers here dump unit of howitzers how the dump a unit of artillery facing that way a unit can sit there for now deploy so you can go in there They didn't really have any uh, cavalry to worry us. To be honest, you can hunker down in a little, in a little uh, position like so. Then our cavalry is going to sit outside the walls back here. As is the general's bodyguard. The colonial line don't really have anywhere to go. One I'll go into the command HQ, one I'll go up on this section of the wall. Okay, then you'll go up here. And you'll go probably over here. Another unit of artillery of cavalry coming in. All the artillery is aiming at the third light horse back here. Obviously it's misses across the board. Let's get a unit of cavalry to go get ready to go around the flank and attack those demi cannons. So they're not actually trying to blow their way into the city. They're damaging this section of the bastion which doesn't get them in. And you guys could run faster. This artillery still rains in on this unit here. And it's still only killed one cavalryman. Okay, let's run this guy in. Let's just set my artillery just to keep spamming the breaches with canister shot.
they look like they're going to attempt to uh, scale the walls, but I don't think they will. So they've moved the unit of Colonial Light back to the guns, but I suspect we will be able to make them route beforehand. Are you guys firing? No. Too bad we've got that annoying little sound bug. So this volley of musketry that should be awesome will not be as awesome. There's still a bunch of dead Spaniards and what's not to like about that? Okay, this is going to be the dodgy bit because it's going to be Regiment of Horse versus Light Cavalry. Regiment of Horse should technically win because they are the better cavalry unit. So let's get ready with my cavalry to go around and intercept this colonial line. So let's let my cavalry chase them for a bit. See, combat is even because my men are just better. But what I'm hoping is that these guys slowly skirt away so that my cavalry is in range to just hit the... Uh, Gunners, although they're now wavering because of artillery fire, I guess. Okay, if their cavalry is going to run off, my guys are going to go for their artillery. As they're trying, they're about to try and uh, storm the walls. But sadly, with no... with these sound problems, it's not as awesome. Gunners are madly reloading. But that's a lot of men to rush into the centre, especially men the in terms of morale are a bit squishy. Okay, one unit's broken, the 19th is not happy. There we go. My cavalry managed to uh, knock out both of their guns. Although sadly I can't make them route. Okay, so my light cavalry run around the f one unit engage the light infantry head on, the other unit flank around and hit them in the rear. You quickly run forward to tag, tag the uh, central square. Good, now get back. And this cavalry unit smash into the 29th. Bash. There they go. One unit of militia stormed the Capitol building. It's just... I don't know if it does anything, but sometimes just kind of... Maybe it might help. What's the infantry there? Oh, shattered. So I'm going to speed up time, because right now it's just uh, General's bodyguard and some colonial line. Now the militia have been repulsed. All of their men have been repulsed. There we go, now it's come back. So let's speed up time and let these militia get into the city. Let's see if they have better luck than their comrades. Oh no, some of them are coming back. Mighty 21st. We're going to charge this building now, the armory instead. Well, that's not going to look so good for them in a minute. Guns have just fired. Yeah, they've gone. And a bunch of men that were originally repulsed, they're just going to keep feeding the breach with bodies. 
It's 119. They're going to get pretty close. Yeah. They made it to the center square. Fifth are coming in. They too have been repulsed. So you guys go. Hey, my. Okay, my musket sound sounded a bit odd. There we go. Some more men that have died <laughs> have come back. It's only the shattered ones that are actually staying away. 33rd, 34th and 35th regiments. The 31st regiment over here are also trying to come in, but they'll probably be repulsed by men on the walls. So they're attempting to now storm the breach again. Colours flying. Can't find their officer. Again, sound problems again. So as they march forward. Confident. Oh, canister sharp. Damaging the 35th. Turned tail. So who's left? General's bodyguard out here. We should probably get picked apart by men on the walls, hopefully. There we go, now they're actually firing. Who's this now? The 31st. Who are just gonna get mowed down just as they're earlier comrades have will their general suicide into the breach or will he just run out here to be shot at so let's get my get my cavalry to charge into their colonial light Because that's what you do. The general's bodyguard still sat out there. So I'm going to speed up time because you know, these guys are done for. Halt my mortars. Now it's my cavalry's job to intercept their general and they know it. I'm going to stop you guys from firing as well. Heroic victory for the Maltese. He because defending with a decent garrison is pretty simple. So we're probably going to get some uh, extra armies pushing in. But as I keep ex as I slowly expand my garrison there, it shouldn't be a problem. So right now it's been bolstered with some grenadiers. Could recruit a military academy, build a military academy and get some cuirassiers. Um, although it's probably worthwhile to just auto-resolve, destroy them, because they're pretty much done for. Send our infantry to go deal with them. There we go. So this could be the inn that the AI is waiting for. Or for the United Provinces, in that they're waiting for to uh, deploy their armies, because they're actually not bad. Not bad. Pick up two more. Oh, can I get one more grenadier? Pick up another bunch of infantry. Are you still not replenished? Near as damn it. Let's get you over to Cinemary. Let's embark the men. Put the Windward Islands under siege. 
maintain siege for now because I want to uh, just do a bit of admin here. So this line infantry unit run to the port. Understandably these guys are annoyed so we might have to just ease up their taxes for a bit. But we do want to keep... Actually, you struggling to export? No, not yet. Neither are you. So let's get there and let's get the gold mine built. Actually, let's get the... Just the, the port in general is a pretty good upgrade. Also, let's replenish your men. San Jose. Let's not upgrade that. Let's instead go and take. How long? How long are you guys going to take to get your ships? Okay. Spend the money on one last fourth rate. You are now over in the correct region. You're fully replenished. You've still got a handful of turns to wait. Um, let's send this light galley to scout Cairo. Full garrison, but not well defended. Jerusalem... So they do have some troops in nearby that could respond to such an attack. Okay, let's hop into Alexandria. So I can take this fleet, get over to Cartagena. Embark the army. And ferry... Can't get all the way there. But you can get down to here, where the sixth rates will take up positions in the other docks. So you can sit here, and then next turn you can launch an attack over towards Cairo, which will probably need to build another religious building. I'd love it if you'd build a religious building. To be honest, I'm going to tax you now. If I'm going to leave my garrison in there, you can be taxed. So Misrata is going to be built, which will turn into a religious building. Because the conversion is coming along quite nicely now. We should start to get some good religious unrest levels, finally. Still more spying. You guys are replenished. Um, I could probably, to be honest, I could probably do with just attacking the Windward Islands to just knock them out and get more money quicker. Um, I have to be a bit more aggressive now. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's probably roughly time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time for the assault on Martinique. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>